This beautiful mausoleum is the final resting place of Robert S. Brown. With the lions out front and the beautiful ironwork on the doors, it is stunning. Mr. Brown was the founder of the Acme White Lead Paint Company in Detroit. They started out manufacturing various paint products for houses and buggies and moved on to becoming a key player in the automotive business. Mr. Brown lived to be 80 years old and had retired to Florida and actually died when a tree branch fell on him. He maintained a 300-acre citrus grove in Florida. He also maintained this beautiful home at 800 West Boston Street in Detroit's historic Boston Edison neighborhood. And at the time, his neighbors would have included all of the key players in Detroit society, including for a time Henry Ford, Sebastian Kresge, and many, many others. This mausoleum is really one of the most beautifully designed here in its simplicity and elegance. The lion sculptures out front are the probably the finest artwork I've ever seen in a uh, cemetery statue made out of bronze like this. And you look at the matching lions, little flower trays in front of them for plantings. They're set on a stone pedestal base. Look at the detail of their manes and their faces. Just absolutely stunning. And the uh, main entry door is also stunning with the grapevine motif. I believe it's a bronze door, but I'm not 100% sure. And the uh, decorative works above the doorway, along with a name carving in the top. Everything here is just meticulously maintained and very lovely. Holy Sepulchre Cemetery here in Southfield has a great number of these old mausoleums and beautiful grave sites. It's well worth your time to come out and visit. We're going to go around back and have a look at the rear window. A lot of times the rear windows on these mausoleums are very elaborate as well. Sometimes stained glass, sometimes decorative ironwork like this one has. Continuing the grape motif from the front. Well worth your time to stop in and see this.